Shangwan, an old district with a lot of new influences. But even with all the new cafes on the scene and a wide international selection of food, the old Chinese tea houses and classic local Chinese restaurants still have a place here. Today, my job is to go try out a well-known and popular local hotspot that serves traditional congee. Join me on this episode of Food Wonders. So they've given us the multilingual menu and pictures as well, just in case we're confused. So this particular shop, they also do a lot of noodles, beef brisket, which is also a popular thing out here. However, we're going for the breakfast, which is the congee section right here. And they're known for their fresh fish fillet. So I'm going to give that a shot, along with a few other things. Uh, the deep fried fritters, essentially a type of donut. It's usually one long piece, but they've sliced it up here and it's something that you would dip into the congee. Now here comes the fresh fish fillet congee. Oh, hi, guys. Here we go. Mm. So here we have your rice porridge, your congee. In it, they put some ginger in it as well. Generally, ginger goes in, especially if there's fish in it, or the fishiness. It's strong, too strong for some people. But if you take a look, they put in large, absolutely massive chunks of the fish filling. They bring it with soy sauce, ginger, and spring onion. All thinly julienne to go with the fish. Let's get started. Mm. The congee itself is very tasty. They use a stock to cook the rice with it. Mm. And now the fish. Ooh. Gotta be careful of these guys. Now the generals are quite large bones, but there are some smaller ones, so do be cautious. The type of fish they're using here is a type of carp, and it's very popular in a lot of southern Chinese, Hakka cuisines and kanji in particular. Soy sauce, ginger, spring onion, these things are very, very commonly used with fish, typically when it's steamed. And using it like this makes a lot of sense. Okay. Now, gotta try the dough. The yao zha guai. Oh, lovely, yeah. When this is fresh, like when it just comes out, after they put it in the oil, it slowly cooks, it expands, it becomes golden brown. Right when that comes out, that's the best time to have it. This one's been out for a little bit, and so it's a bit colder. I would have loved it more if it was a bit fresher. It still does go well with the kanji. Quite packed. Busy spot. I guess we're in the right place. Finally, I cap off today's meal with a little treat. So it's basically fish cake. They pound it. They add some uh, cornstarch into it, some spring onion, some seasoning, and then they pound it, get it nice and chewy, and then they get it nice and flat, make these little fish pancakes out of it. Mm. Nice little treat. A bit heavy for breakfast, in my opinion, but lovely for lunch, pretty much any other time. Classically, quintessentially Hong Kong, eating out, packed, no frills, but great food. That's what Hong Kong is very much about, and it's very much what Food Wander has been about as well. Would I recommend coming here? Yes, 
just choose your times wisely and expect to have a crowd.